Hello and welcome to this week's Angel Oracle card reading for week commencing the 13th of May 2024. My name is Ray and I'm a guide who helps you remember your divine presence so that you can heal your past, find your purpose, create your future. Remember why you are here, raise your consciousness, come out of that spiritual closet and take the steps you need to take to fill your purpose in this lifetime so that you can spread your wings and soar. Now, this week we're going to be using the Sacred Traveller Oracle Cards by Denise Lynn. But as always, before we get into this week's reading, I would like to say thank you so, so much for your continued support. It really does mean a lot to me to be able to be of service to you and for you to trust me enough to use my services. So thank you so, so much. And with that in mind, um, I am going to be at um, Detley and Wellbeing a Wellness event on the... 8th and the 9th of June. So if you are going along to Detlin, do come along and say hello to me. Have an angelic Reiki session, fraction of the cost that, um, that I normally um, charge for it. And on the Sunday, I'm actually going to be doing a talk on divine presence up in one of the rooms, which if it's like last year was air conditioned, which was an absolute bonus. Um, as it was really hot last year. So if you do come along, it'll be lovely to see you, um, especially on the Sunday if you come and uh, join the, uh, come and see me do my talk and I'll be taking you into a guided meditation. Well, I'll be taking you on a journey into other dimensions, which is absolutely amazing. And then of course, I am running the Future Life Progression Practitioners Training um, on the uh, 19th, 20th and 21st of July. So that's online. If you want to become a Future Life Progression Practitioner, um, then please uh, do check it out. Uh, there is an early bird offer on at the moment and it'll be great to see you and you can use this in existing therapies or brand new therapies. Um, and of course, I'm always here if you need someone to talk to. So as always, I'll give the cards a quick cleanse and a bless. So what does everyone who's watching this need to know for their highest good for week commencing the 13th of May 2024? What does everyone who's watching this need to know for their highest good for week commencing the 13th of May 2024? So they're making me work for the cards this week. They're not giving me a card to come out. So let's see what we are being given this week for the cards. Okay, so we have got impasse, reflect and redirect your energy, passion and pleasure, save your life, and miracles, expect the wondrous to emerge. Isn't that amazing? So what the cards are saying to you this week is that Whatever you've come across in your life, wherever you are at the moment in your life, um, know that there is a way to move forward. Um, there is a way to get through that barrier, through that wall, find that gate. Um, and that is by literally reflecting and redirecting your energy. So just because you can't go down a certain path doesn't mean there isn't another way to get to where you are, um, want to go. Or maybe there's something even better that you just need to take a different direction, which will, you know, be so much better than what you're planning on doing. So take the time this week to actually, OK, this is where I want to go to. Why haven't I got there yet? And note down, you know, go within. Why haven't I? Is it, you know, am I putting these blocks on myself? Is it something from the past? Have I, am I not skilled enough? Um, am I not um, positive enough for it? Am I not looking at the right way of doing it? And then just read back and go through what you've written, what you've written down and write it down without thinking about it. And then see what the alternatives are for that. OK, I'm not skilled enough. OK, what can I do to get those skills? Oh, it's not. Or, um, I, I think it's because this issue is stopping me. I'm blocking myself. Find someone to work on the issue with you or work on the issue around yourself. 
Um, you know, so there are ways around it. Or it may be that when you go and reflect, it may be actually, I need to take a different path, a different direction. So be aware of that this week and know that if you, you're not, you've not got to where you want to go yet, there may be a reason and to look at around that and maybe there's another route to it or there's another route that's going to be even better for you. You know, and whilst you're doing that, savor your life, you know, you're, you know, you chose to be born in this lifetime. And I know we go through hardships, um, you know, a rug can be pulled out from under our feet, which, you know, I went through um, 15 months ago. And you kind of like have to reassess, reevaluate, which is what I did. You know, I, I reflected and I had to redirect my energy from that situation that, that came up. But I still savoured my life. You know, I am still here. I'm still living, breathing. I have family. I have friends. I have food. I have a roof over my head. You know, I have a cat. Um, I can go out in nature. You know, there are all things in, in life. You know, when it rains, I can save the rain, the sun. You know, I can enjoy the sun when it comes out. So savour your life because when you actually are grateful for what you've got in your life, you enjoy it, you get pleasure with it, that really helps you move forward and can help redirect your thoughts, your emotions, your actions to get you to where you want to go. And tap into that spirit of childlike um, uh, curiousness and wonderment, you know, expand the wondrous, well, so expect the wondrous to, uh, to emerge. So know that, you know, there are many things out there, the beautiful miracles, you know, we, you know, we, we got the chance to see the um, Aura Barolas lights. Um, well, I did them, but, you know, we got a chance. It's something that, you know, is probably never going to happen again. But then again, it might do if we're um, we keep getting all these solar energies. But that's a whole different conversation. Um, but, but you know, so so wondrous things do happen. And if you expect the wondrous to be happening every day, then it will happen. We create our realities, and this is what the cards. This is what the cards are saying this week. You know, you can create whatever you want to create. If there's an issue or somewhere you can't get to reflect on it, maybe redirect your energy to it, enjoy the journey, enjoy being here, savour every moment of your life. Yeah, so, so this week is, it is a week of expecting the unexpected, taking pleasure and joy in the smallest thing, in the, in the wondrous things that happen. And by doing that, that will help you see why you haven't got to where you're going and what direction you need to take. Yeah, so that's really all the cards are saying to me this week. Now, this is, um, you know, this is my interpretation of the cards and you may get a completely different interpretation and it's absolutely fine. I draw these cards for what you need to know for your highest good. And if you do get a different um, understanding from the cards or one card stands out more than the others, you know, then go with that. And please do let me know in the comments or message me privately because I always do reply to everyone who um, comments and shares their thoughts. So we have impasse, reflect and redirect your energy. Is there another way you can go? Or is there a way to create a gap in that wall if you think of a new way of doing it? Passion and pleasure, savour your life. Enjoy what's going on in your life. Enjoy the smallest pleasures. When you savour your life, you have passion and pleasure and joy and happiness. Things move, doors open, paths are created. And miracles, expect the wondrous to emerge. You know, there are many miracles that occur you know, we've just seen something wondrous. Expect that every day. That childlike curiosity that there are miracles, that things are going to be better and they will be. So I hope you enjoyed that card reading. said, do let me know in the comments. Do check out um, Delling. Oh, and also I forgot to say, I'm going to be at the, on the 13th of July, I'm going to be at the Little Horse Yard in Horton Kirby offering Angelic Crakey there. 
So that's another chance. If you don't want to go all the way to Detling, you can go to Horton Kirby and you get a chance to have Angelic Crakey with me, but also um, many of the other therapies and workshops that are taking place um, there as well. And don't forget to check out my show, Angels and Destiny, where I've got the lovely Isis Gaia on my show. So if you're watching this on Sunday, it's taking place tomorrow, Monday the 13th. Um, if you're watching this on Monday the 13th, it's taking place this evening at 8 p.m. UK time. If you're watching later in the week, then watch the replay. You can watch it any time you like. Um, should be a fascinating conversation and I'm really looking forward to it. So have a wonderful rest of the week. Take care. Bye.